Okay, Ellie's gonna go for a walk. About an hour and a half ago, there was a strange dog outside. And I'm hoping it was the neighbors. Um, Ellie, this way. Ellie, no. Come on, Ellie. Doing. Just found something to sniff. Come on, Ellie. Come on, this way. Come on, this way. Come on, over here. Come on. Um. Anyway, there was a. I'm hoping that it was the neighbor's guest and their dog, and not a stray dog. Um. It started to come over in our area and then um I don't know went back over to the neighbor's house I don't know what was going on so this is the dirt gravel road out here this is more of the farmer's land out here Okay, we came in the back way in case that dog was out there, but okay, that's the back of us, the uh, um, shed or whatever it is. Okay, and then this is the road. It goes way down there. So Ellie's on I see something out there patrol. Never know what you'll find out here. And they've been out here mowing and um, taking up the, she sees something out there. Come on, girl. Come on. This way. Let's go this way. Yeah. This is her favorite place to go. Um, because there's a lot of things to sniff. So this is on the back side of the property. This is kind of on an incline. Oh, the old man's out there. <laughs> the farmer's out there. Hopefully Ellie doesn't see him. But yeah, he's got all kinds of stuff in his backyard and he's out there working. He's always outside doing something. She's a sniffing. We have a barn cat that lives out here somewhere and kind of hangs around in this area. And I think she can sniff it. So here's his, I think those are grapevines out there in his yard. We used to have grapevines, but took them down because hardly anybody ate them and it was way more than I could eat so here's the kitty's dish the farmer Glenn over there he every once in a while fills that up which I don't like because that promotes um animals that shouldn't be out here. Okay, now we're turning the corner, coming down to our property, and see here, I'll show you on the other side. She likes to sniff out this area. 
So, yeah, this used to be all grapevines out here, but this might be one that they left. But this whole area was grapevines. During the windstorm, the tarp or the whatever it is, the thing that goes on the trailer, it blew off. Yeah, just wrecked it. So my son just put on a new one. So we're just walking where Ellie wants to walk. Here's the burn pile. Everything's burnt right now. Oh, now she's trying to sneak in the bushes. Yeah, it's hard to tell when they do the fields, they plow them up and whatnot. Who knows what comes out of the fields. So, you can see all blue sky today. We're supposed to be in the 90s later today. Come on, Ellie. <laughs> She's in her heights of glory, just a snipping. Oh, I forgot to bring the poop bag, so I hope she doesn't poop. And I have to come back and be on poop patrol. No, you're not going through it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this is just going to be a little walk today. I don't want to overextend her at all. Megan. Megan's will start barking as soon as we come up to the door. <laughs> Let me knock on the door. Ah. Megan! He might be outside. I bet he's outside. <clears throat> Otherwise, he'd be at the door uh, barking. Whew. Warm out here already. Her tongue's out. Maybe she'll drink lots of water. This over here is the back side of my son who lives downstairs. His windows, a bedroom, a bathroom, and another bedroom over there. <gasps> There's Megan. He's, he's in the bedroom. I wonder if he's locked in there. I hope not. He is. All right, I'm gonna have to go get the key and unlock him from the bedroom because otherwise he'll scratch at the door. Okay, come on. We gotta go get the key. Field up there. It's all mowed. Yeah, 
all dry. <laughs> Tongue's hanging out, gal. My car's got a lot of pollen on it. Talk to you later.